Hey, hey, who's got a fingernail and called everything? This guy! <laughs> oh my god, I got like both of them ish, sort of. Kind of. Um, so if you get it, it's alright, but if I mention something by accident. Yeah, you already knew it, you already knew it. I, I didn't know it. I got most of it, but it's. Well, no, this is this is what I said in Avatar. It's like, well, you kind of gave something away that wasn't even that important, but I'm just like, you know, Doug's not an idiot. He can generally figure these things out. Um, so, well, no, I am an idiot. I just wasn't about this. Uh, but even that, I didn't totally get it. I thought actually the airbending being open up after the uh, other elements are taken away, I thought that was clever. Uh, I, thought, I actually like that, too. Yeah. Uh, which is I think it's this aspect of, like, well, he cuts off your connection to the element, so I kind she, of she got this She wasn't connected yeah. to the She wasn't air, connected so to air, so all of a sudden you sever that connection, and then you've just got the air left, so all of a sudden it's like, ta-da! Like, I, I don't know, and, I thought and, that and, was kind of cute. And but. again, it, it sort of made sense, because, as they say, you know, sort of her lowest moment, her powers are gone, so it's like using just whatever she knows of the element there, and that would probably result in airbending. So I like that. You, for... Something that's kind of made up, it's like, it did sort of have this logic to it. Yeah, um, you, you figured it out pretty well. Uh, oh, but, now, but... So so this is a good final episode. I, I really enjoy it. I, I like all the twists. I like... Uh, I, I love the way Amon goes out. I mean, everything having to do with Amon <laughs> in this episode was, like, perfect. Tell me about the rabbit Starlock. <laughs> <Yeah>. Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Now, you know in season two it's going to be like, No, I jumped off of the boat just before the explosion happened. You know, I they might think do something I, like that. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> they made it look pretty final. Um, um I... I'm pretty sure they didn't know if there was going to be a season two, so I think they were writing yeah. this character off. Um, the, the love triangle, I guess, is finished, but... Boy, I, I guess the, the daughter uh, uh, sort of gets the shaft here. I mean, she gets Now Bolin. she has no... Yeah, she gets Bolin. Yeah, there you go. It should be the other way around. I, I like Korra and Bolin much more. Actually, I, I do agree with you. I, think I, I thought it was a much better couple. Um, look at us. We're talking about how much we hate the love triangle. And we're just like, you know, oh, I like them together better. I think I don't hate... Better. Okay, I don't hate the love triangle. Okay, well, I, I hate the love you. triangle. I am um, indifferent to the love triangle. I've seen better. I've seen worse. I like uh, I like the way everything's sort of tied together with... Um, uh, Iroh on the on the plane and it crashing into the mask, <laughs> knocking the mask off. Totally it's just like me. nice. <laughs> yeah, no, that that was really good. Um, so it, it's a good, strong finish. I I like they sort of use uh, for the most part, it's tying it real together. I don't know what to think about her getting all the powers back. I like that she had to go through something. She had to hit Day some of the Korra. I mean, because. Avatar did this too. It was a Deus Ex Machina, essentially. No, and for, it for, wasn't. I mean, it 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 kind of was. I mean, it's okay. Let me put it this way: the airbending you could figure out. I didn't, but you could figure out that even if it was taken away, that could work. No, I'm talking yeah. about the first Avatar. This no, no, one, no. I mean, I even with the first Avatar, I'm saying like, well, wait, you can't really. You still can't quite pinpoint, like, you know, this is what's going to happen. It's No, there's no way to figure it out. Here you could, up until when Aang shows up and gives her back the power. Um, but even Which then... I'm not against. I'm, it I'm just, half and half on it. I'm not against... Okay, here's... There's, like, a couple different things going on. Because they didn't know they were coming back... You know, maybe they were just like, maybe we need to wrap this up in a nice, tight, happy ending. Because we don't know what's... If there's going to be sequels or whatever, there's that. In my opinion, I would also argue, well, this could open yourself up, though, Another to season. doing... Or to doing whatever you want with it, like... That, that's sort of what I was saying. It looked like it was opening up for another season. Uh, I mean, for me, it's not... I mean, let's say they, they want to give her powers back. I, you can make an argument. I'm like, if you can communicate with the other avatars and stuff, and this was passed from the space tortoise or whatever uh, to Aang, then, you know, in theory, Aang could pass the ability on to her and unlock her powers. To yeah. me, that it's feasible, yeah, no, it, it's not a deus ex machina. What bugs me about it is that it happened so quickly. Yeah, and it's like... Which was part of the criticism I had with the first Avatar, that I liked the idea, I just thought it was executed a little too fast. Yeah, and same thing This here. one goes way... This one's even way worse, in my opinion. Um, because... My powers! Ooh, 
Yeah, Hello. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that, you, you nailed it. That's basically it. Well, it, how is that really so the lowest fast. moment? No, it's like, have her go through a journey of her lowest moment. Hell, let her go exactly. through, let her go through the journey and let her come out saying, realizing that maybe she didn't need the power. She still has airbending! She's, I mean, that's still something! There was no, le that's the problem, is there was no lesson learned or earned really like it needed if you're gonna do this all in one season it needed one extra episode where you show her dealing with it and then yeah. give her her powers back yeah uh but to do it in the last something. three minutes you know and I, it's a great moral i mean that's that's the old zen buddhist saying and you see it in fight club too you know only when we've lost everything are we free to do anything you yeah know? But, but they missed a great opportunity <laughs> because what that also means is once you've lost everything then you're free to do anything she could have done something that wasn't purely from the ass-kicking Avatar perspective. She could have helped rebuild the city, show people that, you know, I'm only an airbender now, but I'm going to do what I can. Well, I'm going to move on. She, I'm going to learn. The gonna... same way that that guy learned how to do bloodbending without the full moon and, and take away the, the power and stuff like that, why couldn't she learn the same ability to yeah. get the other forces back? And she could only do it at her lowest moment, and when she tried to bring stuff back up, she, I'm with you, she didn't really learn learn anything she no. hit the lowest moment which is great but even she didn't really know she hit the lowest but, but why how huh and it's you know go from there that's Aang the starting four point four episodes of journeying and trying to figure this out and this was four seconds you met the turtle yeah like you got this idea that even though you know it was rushed and handled quickly i felt it was so much better handled in the first avatar that i was like okay it ties together it was a little rushed but this one, I think what offends me the most is the whole, oh, go, go back, Mako, you, you know, go back because I'm not the Avatar anymore and I just want to be alone. You know, he says, I love you, and she's just like, I, oh. Uh. Yeah, more <laughs> love know. triangle bullshit. Um, you know, and I get intentions like she needs to deal with this, she needs to be alone, but what bothers me is, Second she gets her powers back. Did you notice what happened? Yeah, I love you too. I love you too. I'm like, oh, so now that everything's worked out for you, I guess you can go out with Marco. Yeah, it, no. That it, really bugged me. And the thing is, it wouldn't have bugged me had you done this over the course of a whole 24-minute episode. I would have been fine. Or even with, half an episode. Or even half an episode. But when it went that quickly, I was like, wow, it just made her look like a douchebag there. Like, why, well, why now that I got my powers back. Well, 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 why couldn't, okay, why couldn't they stop the episode where she, you know, she runs off and she's looking out over the horizon, she's crying, and then maybe she stands up and maybe Mako comes behind her and is like, you know, what are you going to do? It's like, you know, I, do you think you'll ever get your powers back? You know, I don't know, but I'm going to go find out or something like that. You leave it open for another season or it could end there. I mean, it, it either needed, one, honestly, it'd be a nice I, open yeah, ending. I would have gone with a term, Terminator 2 ending. You know, I don't know what the future holds. You yes. know, but I'm going to find that, like, had you done that, then... And, the, and then this would be, like, maybe three or four episodes of the next season or something. Or if not, if it ended there, that'd be okay, too. You see, I like how final it could have been with... First of all, with her losing all her powers, I, I was actually leaning towards that originally, but then it's like she still has the airbending. Oh, okay, so she has something. Well, they can still make a season out of that, and but she still lost something, and she has to adapt. This is a good mix. But then she just gets it back, and now yeah. she's going to be... I was saying they sort of throw in the Jesus element of now she's the healer. She's bringing back the power, bringing back the life, which bugs me too, because then these people don't have to adapt. They don't have to adapt to this stuff, and, and that, I think I, that would have been a really good lesson, something no, really you, interesting. You nailed it, and this is the biggest issue I have. What made Toph, and, you know, I hate saying this because I love the creators of this show, but I'm just going to call them out on this. What, what made Toph such a great character is she is a girl with a disability that learned how to adapt and turned into something amazing. Turned to the greatest. Yeah, which gave us Lin Bei Fong. How interesting would it have been if Lin Bei Fong now has to adapt and maybe gets herself wrapped up in the new technology as a way to continue fighting crime? Yeah, what crime you and, could have done with them know. having the abilities gone. I, I think that's a great point with Toph, yeah. because if anything, having her sight taken away has increased yeah. her earth bending. And you could have done it with Korra as well. You could have done it with Lin. Instead, it just becomes like a... Well, no, everything's okay after all. You didn't have to sit there and deal with this shit. Which is... Very strange because these creators are normally so good at that. Yeah. That it just, and I don't know if maybe, I mean, I know what it's like in the writing process. We've done projects together where stuff goes wrong. I don't know if they got under the gun here and were just like, 
we gotta wrap this up quick. Or maybe they saw it going turning wrong, out a different or way. Or if some focus group was like, this is too depressing. I have no clue what happened. Or maybe that was just their original idea. Yeah, it could have been. Maybe but they I really don't saw it on as them, like... But they're so good at that, that to see them kind of do this sort of, you know, wrap it up in a neat little package, happy ending, I was like, wow, you guys sold yourself a little short on that, because you, you guys have done such great work, and this one it, it just didn't quite yeah, work it's, out. Yeah, it, it's kind of a shame. I mean, the only way I could see it is maybe sort of like... The only thing I can think of is maybe like Polar Express, where it's like he thinks he loses the belt. Okay, spoilers. Uh, everyone's seen that Christmas movie, but uh, you know where he thinks he loses the belt, and then like at the very end he gets it back. And but but he still went through that loss, and it really showed that loss. And it's only there yeah. in sort of when he lost. You know, you felt like like he was saying the lowest moment. But there, did you really feel like she was at her lowest moment or whatever? I mean, there was no. Because it was so rushed. I mean, it's, what oh, this, it's like me, this is the beginning of the lowest moment. And what, what bothers me... No, I'll tell you why I don't think it was her lowest moment. Or what bothers me about it is the dude confessed his love for her. That's her yeah. lowest moment? It was, okay. <laughs> yeah, Here, exactly. Here's, here's what here's what would have made it the lowest moment. If he confessed his love and she's like, I don't know, I can't. And he gets up, so he's like... Fine, screw this shit, I'm done, we're over, we're through. So now she has lost absolutely everything. Maybe then I could see... But, but that would have been stupid, too. I didn't, yeah. Again, it's the dumb love triangle, but... And again, it's not... If they want to do that, I'm actually okay. And again, if they want to give her her powers back and have her give everybody their powers back, you know, I, it may not be the best idea, but I'm like, it can work. I just yeah. feel it was so rushed. I don't know if that's a Nickelodeon on them or just... Yeah, like, I, I'm not it like... It was just very, very rushed. I'm not furious as a show for no, what I'm it is, for what the ending is. It's more, I'm furious for what it could have been. Yeah. For what these creators could have, been a great have done there, and yeah. could have done. Um, but for what it is, it's, it's your happy ending. And it's like, okay, it doesn't betray everything no. it's just more man what could have been done here yeah. logically i don't find fault in it just like logically i didn't find fault in the lion turtle so it, it's just more how it's handled and executed and if the lion turtle had a couple issues here and there this to me has just got a ton yeah this like, is like a whole psychiatrist session of issues um but okay so i we got a few more uh minutes here uh, just I'll do quick, just a quick wrap-up of the show in general. Um, I think, uh, it just as a whole, I sort of knew going in it wasn't going to be as good uh, as Avatar, uh, so I wasn't expecting it to be. Um, I like that it's different. I like it went this different route, uh, you know, and, and these different characters and stuff. Um, I... Really, I think it comes down to start off really strong, ended for the most part really strong. I, I don't like the last few minutes, but it's... It still ended really, really strong with the climax and everything, and it came through. I was afraid it wouldn't, but the middle part, like I said, I think sort of with Korra and the main three or four characters there, I don't think it just were strong enough compared to Avatar. Um, but as a family show in general, as a Nickelodeon show still, I think it's good. I, I still think it's a good show. It, it could have been stronger, and I know it's not going to be Avatar. Uh... But I still like it. it, I don't it was know why you need to compare it to Avatar? Because it's, it's the same series. But it's apples and oranges. It still takes place in the same world. Okay, it's like comparing Batman and Batman Returns. It's it is the sequel, and and, and that's fine. You're going to compare it, but again, I don't need it to be as good as Avatar. I, to me, it's more like trying to compare the Burton Batmans with the Nolan Batmans. No, I mean, these are the same people. These, these are, are the, the same, same people. people, but it's really stylistically different. No, but it's it still matches that world. Still the same world. It's still the continuation and. But like I said, I'm not expecting it to be the next... I'm not expecting it to be Avatar. In fact, I wanted something different. I'm glad I got something different. Uh, as, a, as a whole, like I said, it's sort of the middle section where I really started to get out of it. Uh, but then it comes back. And I like these issues. I like the direction it went. Um, and I like that it sort of went a more challenging route with with the story and, and with, the, uh, with the villain especially. Uh, I thought this is much more challenging stuff for kids. Uh, I wish the same amount of challenge with the characters, the main characters anyway, with, with Korra and Mako and stuff, uh, that was in the original Avatar was here. If it was, I think it could have been maybe even on par with Avatar. But uh, for what it is, I thought it was good. I, I did like the show. I, the, the strongest moments were when it began and when it ended. I uh, thought it was I great. It. So I... Yeah, the love triangle is not the best thing on the planet, but I thought it was really... 
not intrusive overall, but I've sat through a lot of bad love triangles in animated things, so... Yeah, well, you, you had to sit through a lot of romantic comedies, too. Yeah, well, my wife likes romantic comedies, too, so I... <laughs> yes, he's seen a lot of this shit. I've seen a lot of this, and I'm like... Is she gonna like... marry the rich snob? <laughs> yeah, I... So, I don't... It doesn't bother me, like... <laughs> and the thing is, I, I do agree with you that it's not that Korra's the issue. Mako, I think, is the weak link here. I, I, yeah, it's sort of um, that, that group in general. Uh, that that group, Bolin's it. interesting it's not... as a personality, but that's the thing. When I say the weak link, we're talking about a whole set of good characters overall, and there's nothing bad about Mako. It's just... No, n nothing in this show really Unlike is Unlike the terrible. other show, where some of the weaker characters may have been on the periphery, it's a couple of the central characters. Like, I, Actually, I'm just going to say Mako, mostly. I like... Sato, I, I like Sato's daughter. I like Bolin. You know, and Mako started off interesting. He yeah. started off interesting, and then sort of became very bland. Um, but uh, yeah, but I, I'm sorry with you. They're nothing in the show is terrible. They're fine characters. Yeah, n n nothing I don't in have the show an issue is with them. It's yeah. Um, no, I I thought it was a great show. I love the revolution aspect to it. I loved him on. Um, it, it's, it's like, I, I was wondering, I was like, man, how are you going to go for Mark Hamill? Like, how are you going to trade up on that? And I'm like, uh... Well, no, uh, what, uh, what I'm wondering... Well how, played. Well, I was saying, how are you going to trade up from uh, from Zuko? And those villains that are so yeah. complex and interesting. Here they did the exact opposite. They they sh covered him in shadow, and you didn't yeah. know much about it. And they slowly revealed it. Just and, it and perfect. Both Noah Talk and Tarlock. Speaking of names, if you don't want us to get the names wrong, let's not go with complicated names like yeah, Noah Talk. Talk. <laughs> I'm like, good lord. Actually, speaking of names, okay, Sokka is S-O-K-K-A. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 hold on. You don't have a can of worms, man. No, 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 I just realized something. <laughs> we really gotta end Korra like this. Yeah, no, because I just, no, I just realized something as I was saying that one. And that's pronounced Sokka. Korra is spelled K-O-R-R-A. Why aren't we pronouncing it Kara? <laughs> I... I don't know, but I'm just wondering. They'll give you a shit for it. <laughs> they'll say, "Here is the exact definition and the, like the Tolkien library of how they say Elvish names and how they should say it in Korra as well." Oh and no, see actually, they're connected if, together. <laughs> if they if they had an exact dictionary, this would have been way better. Yeah, actually, it would, would have been a lot easier. The names would have made sense. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's something sense. the makers of the show, the creators, can sell. It's yeah, a I'm, dictionary. Just, I'm just trying to think. I'm like, we technically. But I don't think they know half the time. They're like, yeah, because it's yeah. They they're probably watching this too. Like, you know, guys, lighten up. <laughs> I think they just had a book. We of just life. made it up. Yeah, I think they just looked up a bunch of Asian names. They're just like, which is fine. I yeah. don't care. But then you get crap for it all the time. Yeah, like so. I'm like, it's a bunch of names. <laughs> but whatever. So there you go. Legend of Korra. Is it really a legend? <laughs> it's. <laughs> Isn't it sort of clear like... that this happened? <laughs> I I'd go with the Chronicles of Korra. Yeah, legend. You know, we're getting into names. The Why is it actually, called legend? Huh? Actually, actually, the, no, no, no. It should be like because they do the newsreel. It should be like the life and times of Korra. <laughs> yes. On the life and times of Korra. <laughs> the person to person of Korra. Um. So yeah, yeah. So, I, there you go. Good, good show. It I, it, it, it is a good show, and I, I enjoyed it. Again, still miles beyond what uh, a lot of Nickelodeon shows have done, and I, I'm glad they. Decided to do... Because it's like, uh, oh, you're just ripping on Nickelodeon all together now. Yeah, no, well... Well, well a normal okay, okay, no, Nickelodeon. No, Nickelodeon's fine. I know. But, I mean, they do stuff time. like SpongeBob, and it's to be goofy, funny, haha. And it's like, here's stuff that's like, oh. hey, we're gonna knock it into another one. Okay, week. okay, okay, let's let's not go nuts here. I mean, Cora is definitely no SpongeBob. That's true. <laughs> she could she could use that laugh a little bit more. Could you see her water-bending SpongeBob? <laughs> Blood-bending SpongeBob, that'd be wonderful. Oh, hey, bitch, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh my I God. think we're done. <laughs> I I smell the second season. Cora and SpongeBob me. Well, they are going to the spirit the world. Fuck I think, or something. There you yeah. go. Patrick could be a spirit fish. <laughs> Hire us as writers, man. We got great ideas right here. So um, yeah, we're actually ending on that note. So Legend of Cora meets SpongeBob. Next spinoff, the last SpongeBender. I'm hyped. <laughs>